Hi, welcome, Simon here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be replacing a cracked screen on an HP computer. As you can see, those are like pixelated lines running across the screen and vertically. And uh, there's a crack right around this corner right here. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I need to turn off the computer. I'll be pressing down the power button, press and hold until the screen shuts off. The computer turns off. And let's identify the model here. So take a look at the back of the computer and you should be able to say C. This is HP model 14 DF 0023 CL. I think that is the uh, it's a zero. All right, let's get started. So I'll be using a metal prying tool. Go ahead and get underneath the uh, this rubber here. I would like to disconnect the battery before we change out the screen. There's one hidden screw here at the bottom and there are three here on the top. The next part is to go in between the bottom case and the palm rest. I'll be using a plastic prying tool to run across it because I do not want to make any scratches on the plastic. Get a Phillips screwdriver, go ahead and remove the screws. Let's lift up the battery and that's how you disconnect the, uh, the battery. Alright, let's jump right into the screen. So the screen actually has the double-sided adhesive tape that is taping down the bezel. So this is what we call the bezel running across the screen. So I need to use this metal prying tool to kind of cut off the uh, adhesive here. At the same time, I'm prying it up open. Be very careful when it comes to the top. You do not want to damage the, LC the webcam. So here at the very bottom, they are going to be uh, slightly difficult to do it because the screen that the adhesive is taped onto the screen. So when you cut the adhesive, you want to cut behind the plastic. You see how the plastic is exposed? Wait, let me do it a little bit more and explain it. So there's a tape right here. If you take a look at it carefully, that the if you if you cut behind the plastic here, then you somewhat expose the LCD uh, screen, that little green LC uh, the the screen PCB board. So what you want to do, you want to cut it in between the bezel and the plastic not the one here behind the screen okay so keep going
sometimes if it happens like that, um, that is okay. So just too bad it happens, but sometimes it does. Okay, at this point here, we want to um, open up that little separation between the bezel and the silver bar. And here, there's a hidden screw. I don't think the screw needs to come off, just, just so you know. Yeah, I just wanted to be clear. Uh, you do not have to remove that screw. I thought I had to, but you don't have to. Uh, that screw is part of the hinge, so I will put it back. It's not for the bezel. I wasn't thinking straight. apologize on that. So let me just put that tiny little screw back in here. Okay, now the screw is back in, so we have removed the bezel, lay down the screen, and you want to pull that little uh, tape here. So there's a tape that is holding on the screen, and that tape is right here at the bottom right corner, that little black tape. Get a little tweezer, pull it, and I'm going to give it a couple of Turn, get a good grip of that, and start pulling it down. If you notice that I do not pull it up, because if I lift it up, uh, that tape might get cut and just snap. So I try to level at the same level at the screen and just pulling it backwards towards myself, pulling it back, and that will stretch out that adhesive and see how that happens so it snaps so keep pulling it down not up and there you go I would do the same here on the other side of the screen Snap. Yep. Do your best not to try to break it. I, I rush myself here and um, the thing snapped. So now I'm having a bit of a difficulties to find that adhesive again to re-pull it. So take your time. Do not rush like what I did. This glove is... Okay, I was able to re-grab the adhesive right here. Let's try it again. Mm. 
get a good grip of that make sure you have a, a few twists before you start pulling it off okay I think now it's good so keep pulling until the adhesive just come right off once you're done with that the LCD screen is free to go lift it up and then lean it towards yourself that is the connector and this is the 30 pin 30 pin connector LCD push it away and the entire screen just come right off if you're not sure where to buy the screen replacement check the link down description below I'll link it there and this is the one sorry N140 HCA dash E B C this is the C1 check the link down description below I'll have a replacement screen and this is my replacement screen here Okay, once you have the screen installed, you need to have this double-sided adhesive tape and it, this tape is to re-hold the screen back together. I'll be taping it down here on the side. Give it a slightly additional space so that you know the next person who is uh, going to replace the screen, they know where the adhesive tape would be then um, they can relocate that tape and and replace the screen again so give it a slightly uh, one sixth of an inch reposition the LCD screen just kind of press it down So what I like to do is position here first at the very bottom. While you're holding support in the back of it and push this little gray uh, bar back together. Support, support the screen on the back of it because you do not want to break the new screen so press it a little bit support it and then at the same time press that little gray um, bar to push it back in okay that looks good I'm going to close it down, have the battery reinstall,
so if you're not sure where to buy the uh, replacement screen please check the link down in the description below I'll link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement screen and the tools for this repair and if you have any question please comment down below I do read the comments and I'll try to answer you through the comments and uh, if you do find this video is helpful please click on uh, please click, please smash the like button and of course if you want to uh, show appreciation and want to share your gratitude please click on YouTube super thanks uh, that really helps me to keep me motivated support my channel and uh, and support my work I really appreciate you for doing that so let me tip the thing down Just turn on the computer, give it a, a few seconds because we removed the battery. So the motherboard is reset. That technically the CMOS is reset, so it might take a minute or two for the computer to start up. So just be patient. Alright, there we go. We have the uh, CMOS checksum which is normal because we removed the battery. Uh, that is the error message that you would get when you remove the battery for a long period of time. Alright, so let the computer start up. We have an HP logo and everything looks fine. So that is the uh, broken screen. We just replace it and that is the working screen. So thanks for watching. Until next time, take care and bye now. I just want to make sure I'm covering everything. There you go. There's no um just want to make sure there's no user pictures or whatnot. Thanks for watching. Bye now.